Okay, so for this lesson, we're going to be looking at the gas exchange in the body. Okay, what does gas exchange mean? It means uh, the gas that we breathe in and the gas that we breathe out. Why do we need to breathe in gas and why do we need to breathe out gas? Well, firstly, let's look at what gases we breathe in. Well, we breathe in air, but air is a mixture of loads of different gases. The useful gas that we take is oxygen. We breathe in oxygen and then we breathe out carbon dioxide. Why do we need to breathe in oxygen? Well, to, uh, to help us carry on surviving, we need to breathe in oxygen because the oxygen goes to our lungs and the lungs transfers it into the bloodstream and the bloodstream carries it to our muscles. So the, uh, we need oxygen so we can get it to our muscles so our muscles can work in our body to keep us surviving, okay? And this exchange of gases happens in something we call the gas exchange system. So the gas exchange system, part of it looks something like this. So this is the gas exchange system. It, it comprises of many things. So the nasal cavity is the nose, is where you breathe in from. So you breathe in from both your nose and your mouth. And then this air goes into the trachea, which is called a windpipe. So it goes down the windpipe and into your lungs. And your lungs are really soft, uh, is, a, is a soft muscle uh, surrounded by a rib, a rib cage. And this rib cage protects, this, uh, protects uh, your lungs because your lungs are very important. So we have the air that comes in and it goes to the bronchus and then it splits up on, at the bronchus into different branches called the bronchioles. And these bronchioles contain alveoli which are tiny air sacs that transfer the gases from your lungs into your bloodstream. And we're going to look, look at that in detail. Okay, so we've looked at where the gas goes in from and where it goes to in the body. Let's look at exactly what happens. So we have lungs, we have the lungs, which are, which are pink sponges with the rib cage to protect them. And then you have something at the bottom called the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm moves up. So this diaphragm, it can move up or it can move down. When it moves down, so when it's moving down, it's contracting, meaning it's getting tighter. And this takes air into the body. So when this thing moves down, it pulls air into the body. Okay. And when it relaxes, it moves up. So when it moves up, it takes air out of the body. So it removes air. So when it, when it goes up, it pushes the air out. And what air does it push out? Well, we know that it pushes out CO2 and it takes in oxygen, right? Because we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. Okay, so we've seen what the diaphragm does. And now we know that the air taken in through the track, air is taken through, through the trachea. So it goes through the trachea. Now, this is, the, this is a very simple process where we have, where we have it going from the trachea so it goes from the trachea. It goes from the trachea to the bronchus, to the bronchioles, and then to the alveoli. Okay, so we have to remember this process because it can come up in a question and we have to explain it step by step. So first it goes through the trachea, which is here. Then it goes through the bronchus, which is here. And then it goes through the bronchioles, which are the tiny branches. And then it goes to the alveoli, which is here. Okay, and now we're going to look at specifically what happens in an alveoli. So the alveoli is a tiny air sac, which looks like this. So this is our alveoli here. This is our alveoli. Okay. And so we know that inside the alveoli comes in carbon dioxide, uh, car comes in oxygen and exits carbon dioxide, right? So what happens when the uh, oxygen enters? Well, when the oxygen enters, the alveoli is directly in contact with the bloodstream and this oxygen will dissolve through the membrane and it, and it passes into the bloodstream and we call this process diffusion okay so we're gonna we're gonna look more in detail about this here okay so the bloodstream contains carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is then removed and it's removed in the alveoli and it gets replaced by oxygen so oxygen replaces the carbon dioxide that exits, okay? And these are your little blood cells which carry the carbon dioxide and oxygen. And this happens through a process called diffusion. Diffusion is simply moving lots, moving, moving gases from an area where there's lots of it 
to where there's less of it. So here we have lots of CO2 and in the alveoli, there's very little CO2. So where's the, where's the carbon dioxide going to go? It's going to go from the place where there's loads of it to the place where there's little of it. And in the, in the alveoli, we know we breathe in oxygen. So there's loads of oxygen in the alveoli and there's very little oxygen in the blood in this case. So the oxygen moves from the alveoli into the blood. Okay, and this happens through diffusion. Now, after the, after the oxygen has entered the bloodstream, it will then be carried to the rest of our body. And in our body, our body cells need that oxygen. So that oxygen diffuses from the bloodstream into the uh, body cells. And that's what helps our body cells continue to function. So without oxygen, our body cells would cease to function and then we would no longer have control of our muscles. Now this is, uh, so this is very convenient. The alveoli is very convenient. Like it, it, it removes carbon dioxide and it puts in oxygen. But what makes an alveoli good for this job? Well, there's three things. The alveoli is moist. So it has, it's, it's kind of, it, it's like, um, it, it's slightly watery. And this allows the carbon dioxide and the oxygen to dissolve really easily on the surface of the alveoli. And this allows the diffusion to happen faster. Again, remember diffusion is simply when gases move from lots of it to less of it. So there's lots of it here, there's less of it here, there's lots of oxygen here, and there's less oxygen here. So it just makes the diffusion happen faster if, if it's moist, because it dissolves quickly, okay? And then we have a good blood supply. Well, we know it has to, the alveoli has to have a good blood supply because it's in direct contract with the, it's in direct contact with the bloodstream. So there's lots of CO2 removed and lots of oxygen added. And then we also know that the alveoli, if you look at its circular shape, it's got loads of inside surface area. What does this mean? Well, that means there's simply more area for the gas to exchange, right? Because if there's loads of area, that means there's loads of space. So that means the gas exchange happens over a large space and therefore loads of it happens, right? And that's the adaptations of an alveoli and the gas exchange system in our